We're here this morning with Jennifer Allen of the Contra Costa Water District at the Los Vaqueros Reservoir, and we have the dam in the background. And uh, Jennifer, the Los Vaqueros Reservoir is a candidate for Prop 1 funds for expansion, and I wonder if you could talk to us a little bit about what that expansion might look like. Sure, so with uh, expanding Los Vaqueros, we're looking to increase the capacity of the reservoir to 275,000 acre feet from 160,000 acre feet. This would be with partner agencies that we're looking to do this expansion. Uh, physically, what it would look like, we would increase the size of the dam by a little bit over 50 feet. And uh, so we would be bu building up the, the dam in the existing location, but then that would allow us to increase the capacity of water that we could store in the reservoir to 275,000 acre feet. Uh, Los Vaqueros is an off-stream reservoir, and so all the water that goes into the reservoir is pumped from the delta. Okay, and part of the expansion would include a new pipeline that would move water further south, and if you could talk a little bit about what that, how that pipeline would serve the community. Correct, so and now near off of Vasco Road, we have a facility that we call our transfer facility, which allows us to either move water up to the reservoir or down to the Contra Costa Canal. We build an additional pipeline that would go south from that, that pumping plant, and that would serve our, our new partners that would be uh, south of the Delta, either in either in the South Bay or in the Central Valley. Right, and one of the principal benefits, as I understand it, would be um, to provide water for uh, wildlife refuges that are in in the uh, Central Valley. Correct. There are there are, are you know acres and acres of, of uh, wildlife refuges in the Central Valley, but they they're not able to get all the water that they need from the federal government, and so so with this expansion, they could be a potential partner, and we could transfer water down to them to help. Uh, that where they can keep those those wildlife refuges filled with water for the wildlife that travel through that area. Great. Thanks very much for your time, Jennifer. Absolutely. This is Tony Cookwitz for the press.